This shit's starting to piss me off. People are really going off on... People are really going off on Peppa Pig on Twitter. Like, I, you can love Bluey without trying to knock down Peppa Pig, okay? Like, Bluey, sure, I, I get it. Every All the adults love Bluey because it teaches kids how to be, you know, empathetic or something. But you don't have to, like, Peppa Pig is still good. Have you seen some of the other dog shit that's on TV for kids? I like Peppa Pig because it deals with real scenarios. Daddy Pig lost his glasses. Peppa Pig lost her boots. Oh, we left the door open and a parrot got outside. You know, I'm not going to qualify. Peppa is a piece of shit? What are you talking about? Peppa Pig is not a piece of shit. She's five years old. How is she a piece of shit? Didn't she go to the moon? Yes, on one episode she went to the moon to try to get her boots back. But that, it's, it's like the X-Files, right? Like they started to run out of ideas in the later seasons and they went a little crazy with it. Like that, it, but there's like eight seasons of classic Peppa Pig. I still say maybe like I, I just saw some bad Bluey episodes, but I am surprised at how people are, are like in love with Bluey. They're like, it, they're real people. And I'm like, the only episode I can remember of Bluey that I've seen is the dad uh, wants to throw out some old drawings the kids made, but he knows if he does it in front of the kids, they'll um, cry. So he goes to the dump with his kids and throws all the shit away, and then they see the drawings, and they go, Daddy, why are you throwing away our drawings? That makes us feel bad. And I was like, this show is not real. Is the dad the biggest idiot on the planet? Like, why don't you just wait till they go to sleep and then throw out the drawings? Like, it's it's the easiest crime to get away with of all time. The One Piece! <laughs> the One Piece is real! Okay, good one, good one. Studies have shown Peppa Pig watching reduces someone's speaking skills. Come on. Who did that study? Someone jealous of the success of Peppa Pig. This is an unbelievable statement. I, I refuse to believe it. You can't just say study show. Link to the JSTOR, okay? University of Bluey put out that study. Absolutely. Ooh, studies have shown that children that grow up watching Bluey uh, have a greater chance to grow up to be billionaires. Anybody that watches any other television program grows up to be a, a hater and an asshole who can't parallel park. Only Bluey viewers stay winning. I got nothing against Bluey. It's just that the, the Bluey lovers go way too far. At least it's not blippy. Like, hold on. Ooh, he's back. It's not, it doesn't have to be a rivalry. Like, they're making it a mutually exclusive thing. You can only watch Bluey or Peppa Pig. You, you, can, watch, you can watch those. You can watch Sesame Street. My adult friends without kids watch Bluey? That's just insanity. They should just have a kid and get it over with. If you're already watching children's television programs for entertainment, like, you might as well have a kid. That's it's so sad. I'm reading that from chat. I didn't say that's so sad, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know if it's sad, but it's... You know what it is? It's a reminder of how much more free time you have in general. Not, not everybody, but... In general, how much more free time you have before you have a kid. People without kids be like, yeah, I watch kids TV shows when I have some spare time, just for fun. I'm not flaming, I'm just saying. Thoughts on Paw Patrol? I really, I genuinely feel like the television program your kid watches, as long as it's a kid's television program, probably is not gonna have that much of an impact on their, uh, on their psyche, quite frankly. Like, I know that Childless Prime subs in my chat really don't like Paw Patrol because one of the dogs is a cop. But like, it's just a, it's just a TV show with like a... The dogs like fly airplanes and stuff like that. They, they drive cars, other, other stuff that's not necessarily like a reasonable facsimile of what happens with dogs in, in normal human life. If, if our daughter says, I wanna watch that one, and she points to Paw Patrol. I'll let her watch an episode of Paw Patrol now and then. I'm, I'm really not that concerned about it. The only thing I won't let her watch is genuinely, I won't let her watch Coco Melon. Because it, it just, I don't know, it just gives me the creeps. It seems like it was developed by a, like a malevolent child psychologist to, to stupefy. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even know I could make, oh, whatever. I'm chilling. My two-year-old loves Coco Melon. My two-year-old nephew loves Coco Melon, but it definitely turns him into a zombie. Well, like, here's the thing that I'll say. 
this is people are judgmental. This is not just the parents or non-parents thing, but like sometimes it can be like a good thing if your kid becomes a zombie. Sometimes you've been like intellectually fulfilling your child's needs for like 10 hours straight and you kind of just need them to chill out for like an hour or something. So you just, you know, put on some Peppa Pigs, put on some Bluey and then like drink a cup of tea and scroll through your phone for a little bit. And then after, after your small break, you're good to be like a good parent again. You just take a little moment. It's the same thing where people always say like, oh, if I went bald, I would go get jacked. I would def, cause I, being bald and out of shape like I am right now, that would be horrendous. But as soon as my life gets harder, I'm gonna do something I'm already not doing. People without kids sometimes would be like, I would never let my kid do that. I'm dead, by the way. Casino's still running. We'll delete that. I'm like, bro, you are you have so much free time and your life's already a disaster. Of course, you're like, that's why hu human beings are here. You know, They're, like we're all human beings. You're going to have days where you're like, I can't read Hop on Pop one more time. I'm going to like, I'm going to go insane. That's what Sesame Street's for. That's what Peppa Pig is for. You're not going to be teaching your kid like you know, to do first derivatives when they're four years old. It's madness. Like, you can't even maintain the, a flossing habit. And you're like, well, if I had a kid, I would never let them eat a french fry. Yeah, okay. Why don't you start by, like, folding the laundry that's been sitting in your hamper for, like, two weeks and then tell me about how you're going to be, like, a super parent when you have no free time. Whereas right now, you have all the free time in the world and you're not doing shit. It's, it's, it's delusional. Stop, please. I've... What is, is that aware? We finally found a use case for aware. That hit, that hits too close to home. What is it? I'm just saying, don't be so judgmental. Don't let your kids watch Paw Patrol. One of the dogs is a cop. Okay, why don't you fucking like, stop leaving your shit in the washer. You gotta take it out of the washer as soon as the wash is done. Otherwise it's gonna get moldy in the washer before you put it in the dryer. You're gonna wait like six hours with your damp clothes in the washer. You're gonna put it in the dryer, dry it, and then you're gonna be like, why does my clothes smell? I just cleaned them. It's because you left them in the damn washer. And yet you're gonna tell me you're gonna maintain such a, a strong set of principles when your life gets harder? No, you're gonna bend even more because that's what human beings do. Let me out.